Thanks so much for agreeing to help us with our injection safety policy. Here's what we're currently following. Do you have any recommendations for improvement? Absolutely. Let's take a look at your current injection safety policy to make sure you're doing everything you need to do to be safe. As we look through this, let's remember that a safe injection does not harm the recipient, does not expose the provider to any avoidable risk, and does not result in any waste that is dangerous for other people. First, let's talk about preparing for an injection. Do be mindful of hand hygiene. Make sure you understand the proper technique for hand hygiene. Consider using our hand hygiene checklist, available in the resource library of our website or by contacting your Quality Insights Quality Improvement Specialist. Do remember to use aseptic techniques every time and prepare the injection in a clean area. Tips Use a syringe from an unopened and undamaged package. Disinfect the top of the vial with an alcohol pad. Always clean the injection site with a new alcohol pad for 30 seconds and let dry. Do always use single dose vials, if available, and follow product specific recommendations for use, storage, and handling of medication. Once medication is administered, discard the single use syringe, vial, or pin in a secured biohazard container. Don't use syringes, vials, or pins that have touched a contaminated surface. Immediately discard these items if they have been contaminated. Tip: Always inspect the medication syringe, vial, or pin for discoloration, contaminant, cracks, or leaks. Don't use medication that was prepared in an unclean or cluttered area. When a product is designed for multi-dose or multi-patient use, Preparation should always occur in a clean, uncluttered, and functionally separate area to avoid contamination. Discard any medication not prepared under these conditions. Do adhere to the medication manufacturer's expiration dates. For example, if a multi-dose medication has been opened or accessed, tab removed or needle punctured, the vial should be dated with the manufacturer's expiration date and discarded within 28 days unless the manufacturer specifies a different, shorter or longer, date for an opened vial. Labeling a vial with date open does not meet the intent of this requirement. If a multi-dose vial has not been opened or accessed, it should be discarded according to the manufacturer's expiration date, which is generally printed on the label by the manufacturer. Do follow these general guidelines for medication administration. 1. Don't uncap a syringe until you're completely ready to administer medication. 2. Determine your injection site – arm, leg, stomach, or IV site. 3. Clean the injection area with an alcohol pad. 4. Administer the injection according to your company's policies and procedures. Do follow these guidelines to avoid a potential needle stick injury after administering medication. 1. If using a retractable needle, ensure needle is safely within the syringe and discard according to company policies and procedures. 2. If using a non-retractable needle, ensure the location of the syringe. Do not recap. Discard the syringe according to your company's policies and procedures. 3. Always discard a syringe in a company-approved sharps container. 4. If a needle stick does occur, you must follow all of your company's policies and procedures for reporting the incident. By following these simple injection safety guidelines and your company's injection safety policies and procedures, you can prevent injury to both you and your patient.